Hello, I want to take a couple of minutes and talk about Microsoft Shifts. Microsoft Shifts is a tool inside of Microsoft Teams, and it can be used as a simple time clock or a full scheduling solution. So let's take a quick look at both those scenarios. You'll notice I've got my work groups here. If I go into the ellipsis on the left navigation bar in Teams, I can open up Shifts. Inside here, I can go ahead and provision a new schedule for any one of those work groups. As I provision that schedule, this is what it's going to look like. So there are no um, actual schedules built in, but the tool is active for everybody in that work group. And now it can be used to clock in, clock out, or track leave requests. We can take this a step further by building out those teams and schedules as well. And this will then enable things like um, swapping of shifts or open schedules so people can go and see uh, other opportunities uh, to work. Um, so that's available as well. Let's take a quick look from a user perspective what this experience would be on both desktop and mobile. So from a desktop perspective, with no shifts enabled, right, added, we still have the ability to clock in. Um, I can go on break. I can and uh, I cannot clock out while I'm on break, but I can end my break and then I could start another break like lunch um, or I can clock out. So let's just clock out and end the day there. The other entry that I can make as a user is I can go in and ask for a time off. Time off could be a partial day or all day, a single day or a date range. And for whatever reason, these reasons you can edit uh, to match your company policies and then enter a note. Uh, we can then hit submit and the manager would approve. Approvals and denials, I'll get a notification as a user. Approvals, I'll get a notification and there will be an entry made into the exportable time sheet. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. If there are schedules added, then you'll notice here I would see my work schedule. I can traverse um, forward and backward to see the schedule. But this is where I could actually change the view and see who's working on my team as well for the week. So that way I could do things like, again, swap that schedule or I could offer up a schedule. I'm sorry, offer up my schedule, right? Um, to see if somebody else might be able to cover me for that date and time. So it gives that added functionality when the schedule is built out. So let me pause here and jump over to mobile, share what that screen uh, experience would look like. I will share my screen here. And you'll notice I'm inside the Teams right now, so maybe I'm chatting or I'm reviewing something from the team. But if I go over to Shifts, which is uh, again an icon that we've pinned in the, the navigation bar here, super simple to get to, the two scenarios. So let's start with the one from the top down. So if we entered our schedules, as I just showed you, I would actually see if I have something pending for today. Am I working today? I can also see all of my shifts, which is interesting, and I can see any open shifts to see if there's something there I'd like to grab. Now, if we have not entered shifts into the tool, if all we're using is it as a time clock, then we would use the requests and the time clock. So under requests, you can see I already have a couple requests here, but I will add one. So if I want to request time off, um, let's say it's for vacation and I want it all day, obviously. And so this is going to be out in March or February, we'll say. So is it a day? Oh, you know, half a day? Is it a week? What not? It's super simple to navigate, right? Um, so let's just call it two days and I'll hit done. I can put in a reason if I want here and then I'll hit done and that's going to push that out for manager approval. Again, I'll get the notification of it's approved or denied and it'll go onto the calendar in either instance. The other thing I can do is go to time clock and in time clock, super simple navigation. It's just a push button. So I'm going to push the button and hold it. It's going to go around and it's going to basically log me in for the day. So now that I'm in, I could end my shift or I could go on break. So I'm going to go on break. And once I'm in break, I can no longer end my shift. I can only end the break so that icon goes away. I'm going to hold down end the break. As that ends, now my ability to log out for the day is showed up again or go on another break. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down log out for the day. And that's going to take me over to the timesheet. So this is my timesheet with my entries. 
and I have the ability to edit those. So if I happen to miss a lunch clock in, clock out, or a break, or whatnot, I can make those adjustments, and then I can confirm it. And as I confirm it, I'll no longer be able to make edits. I'm basically telling the my manager that this is now, I, I've reviewed it, it is uh, done to policy, uh, go ahead and submit. Um, so super simple. Uh, that is the user interface from a mobile device. Let me go ahead and move back to the desktop for two quick items. Share my desktop here real quick. And as that populates, um, so first off, let me jump back over to the manager view. So I wanted to share in settings, if I scroll down a little bit, this is where we would make those adjustments to match our leave policies for the organization. And then if I scroll down a little bit further, this is where I would export that time report and I can choose the date range in which I wanna export. I've already exported one to, uh, for the time, um, but here's the date that it was that was worked the person, clock in, clock out, paid hours, break times, um, break hours, how many hours were worked in total. And then if I scroll over a little bit further, we've got this confirmed. So yes, they were confirmed that uh, accurate by the by the employee. And then here's the vacation sick approved. So in here would be the hours. If somebody took a sick day or a vacation day for this week, it would be in here uh, as well. So super simple um, export. And then one final comment. Uh, I did have a customer that said their users um, were comfortable with going to the intranet to clock in and clock out. They want to use this tool, but they're concerned about training on how to direct them somewhere else. Um, so what I shared with them is they don't have to. In this particular case, I in on the intranet, we just added a little widget here in the upper right where they can hit time clock just like they're normally used to, but instead of launching the current tool, it will launch uh, shifts in Teams uh, on the page where they can actually go ahead and log in. So with that, I will say thank you very much. Hopefully this was helpful and have a great day.